everybody welcome back to my channel i don't know i just bowed but i felt like i deserved to i i felt like i needed to bow i just was like i don't know good morning today is actually tuesday yesterday was memorial day i actually had a super long oh be real is going off sorry you guys want to be in my be real i have to wait this is dirty i have to admit i always do the front camera one first mm -hmm. this is my be real this looks so funny this is my be real that's you guys that's me. That's you guys. That's what I see when I'm vlogging, is that. Whenever I'm vlogging, I always say this, but I feel like I'm sending Snapchat videos to one of my friends. Like, it kind of feels like a one-way FaceTime. I don't know if you guys ever, like, vlog for your friends on Snapchat. Or That's how it feels like when I'm vlogging. Like I was saying before I got interrupted, not interrupted, kind of sidetracked, by Be Real. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Memorial Day, and I was out of town from Monday to Sunday. Yeah, I think, I think that's about it, right? I felt very drained yesterday. I was talking about this on my TikTok. One of my friends from elementary school is in Arizona, so I hung out with her. We got dinner, but we are starting off to this week on Tuesday. Like I said, I was out of town all of last week. I already posted those vlogs. If you guys want to see my Memphis vlog and my California vlog, I was in Memphis from Monday to Wednesday, and then Thursday to Sunday, I was in California, so I wasn't even home for a full 24 hours. I was honestly very exhausted, but if I'm being honest, I am so happy I went on those trips because I feel so motivated again. I've been talking about this in my vlogs for a while now, but I've just been feeling so burnt out i was just editing earlier today a vlog where i was talking about burnout and i was like i don't know what i need to just refresh myself and to get that spark back i was saying that i've given myself time to rest i take time off work i hang out with friends i do all the things that i feel like i'm supposed to do but i still feel so burnt out and these trips that i went on i don't know if they just gave me that spark back i feel so motivated i feel like i have all these goals now that i want to accomplish like before i was so tired of making goals i typically do a monthly reset video and I decided that I wanted to pause in those just because I'm tired of making goals. I'm tired of trying to be better. I just feel like I was so burnt out that I just needed to stay where I was at. I couldn't get any better. I just needed to maintain where I was at. But now because I was on those trips, something clicked with me that made me feel so motivated. Such a spark. It's honestly a really good feeling to have that motivation and that spark after not having it for so long. I'm also so happy to be back in my routine. I am someone who loves being at home. I love being in my routine and so coming back home doing the things that i typically do sleeping in my own bed showering in my own shower getting up in the morning working out eating my usual bagel it feels refreshing it feels great it's like a religion to me my routine i love it so much so i'm so happy to be back in my routine just to be home i'm feeling great also i was wearing a different shirt in the earlier clips of this video and i feel like every time i raised my hand i was like about to flash someone it just didn't fit me that well so i changed into something else i've been editing a video earlier today i had an appointment and then i think I'm gonna go back to editing right now. That's kind of what's going on. Right now, I'm currently chatting with a customer service. I got some new to-do list in the mail for my next salon, and one of them has like the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little error. It's not a big deal, but I just wanna make sure that when I order the bigger order of them, because basically I ordered a very small amount just for the samples, that it won't have this error. Also, if you see this Band-Aid on my middle finger, I accidentally chopped the top of my finger off. I was using that like little vegetable cutter that I have, and I was using like the mandolin. I was cutting some cucumbers, very thin, and I cut the entire top part of my thumb off. This is not my thumb, this is my middle finger, and it hurts very bad, and it's like hard to type and everything with it because anytime I put pressure on it, it hurts. I don't have the top part of my middle finger or I don't have a chunk in it or a chunk is taken out of my middle finger. I don't know, but we are chatting with customer service. Rico salmon bowl. Kind of a little bit different take on it. Well, not different take, but just not the exact same recipe. What I was doing cutting up the cucumber is how I cut half my finger off. I didn't cut half my finger off. That's, that's an extreme dramatization of that. What I was doing to cut the cucumbers is how I chopped my finger. So I was very careful this time. I've been doing this thing where I have like cucumber and like the chili onion crunch or the crunchy chili onion from Trader Joe's. It's kind of a weird combo and I'm not sure if I love it, but I don't hate it. I think I like it, but I'm adding 
the jasmine rice. This is, oh gosh, I just added all of it. Okay, whatever. I normally do half a bag of this, so I'll just put the other half in a little Tupperware. Do you see it's steaming? Normally I leave it in the bag, but it didn't want to be in the bag today. I'll have this for dinner as well. I've been like really obsessed with this. I had this for lunch and dinner yesterday, so it was very good. And then I'm gonna throw in some salmon. The salmon, I just used the salmon rub seasoning from Trader Joe's and that was it. To me, it doesn't really matter how you season the salmon because that's not the star of the show. And all I'm gonna do is just like shred this and flake it into little baby pieces and kind of combine it with the rice. I also already ate the cucumbers while I was waiting for this to be made. I think I air fried the salmon for eight minutes. I should have used my meat thermometer to make sure this was edible and not raw. I don't think it's raw. I like chicken because you can tell like if it's pink, it's not done. If it's white, it's done. With like salmon and red meat, you never know. Anyways, I just like to shred this into little pieces and kind of mix it in with the rice. I wanted to make a kale salad all week, which I still think I'm going to, but since I cut my finger, you have to massage the kale so it won't be as bitter. And I just thought me having a band-aid was kind of disgusting to be massaging the kale. So I don't know. The star of the show is the QP mayo. This is, correct me if I'm wrong, Japanese mayo. Squirt it a little bit in here. This makes it creamy. I like this mayo so good. I've been wanting to try this forever or wanting to get my own bottle and they have finally restocked it at Target. And then I barely have any sriracha left, so. Ooh. Then we're gonna do equal parts sriracha and then you mix it and it just is so good. Emily Mariko normally does it with seaweed and then like kimchi. I don't have seaweed or kimchi, so I just eat it like this, but it's so good. Mm. In my opinion, the QP mayo is the star. So I'm gonna eat this and then we'll head back to editing once I'm done. I feel like I need to start preparing for my to-do list launch because it is coming up so much faster than I think it is. So I have a bunch of these plastic wrap things. Essentially when you get a to-do list, they come in like a sealed plastic thing. I don't know, I'll show you guys. But I want to count to see how many I have because I'll obviously need to buy more, but I don't want to buy more than I need. They come in these little plastic bags almost, and then I have a sealer and I seal them. So they're just protected in the mail. This is gonna be a lot to count because it goes all the way up to here. But I do need to see how many I have because I probably will have to order more and so I don't order too many. So we're gonna count. This is gonna take me forever, but that's okay. Should I play music? But I'm also afraid if I play music, I'm gonna get distracted. Like I'm gonna be like blasting Taylor Swift and not focus on counting. I am so grateful that they're these. So they come in like little packs of 100. So here I have like two packs of 100 and I just had to count these ones, which was like 66. So very happy about that, but I'm gonna count the rest of them. I wasn't planning on doing this today, but I'm about to order the next collection of to-do lists. I'm so nervous. It's thousands and thousands of dollars to order all these to-do lists. Okay, place order. Processing. I'm so worried that I messed something up. I probably, oh my God, I wish I would have like triple, quadruple checked this. Now I'm like panicking. I hope I did this right. Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Making like big purchases like this stress me out. I'm just gonna triple check. Okay, that looks right. 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 Okay, let's hope I did it all right. Fingers crossed, you guys. It's an expensive mistake. I've been working on the description and all the links for this video. This video has been uploading for hours and it's still not even close. Let's see. Oh, it's pending. Okay, good. Before it said it had three hours left. Sometimes I will put on a show or something in the background so my computer won't fall asleep because if it falls asleep, then a lot of the upload progress disappears. The video of choice to play in the background, Glee's 3D concert. I don't know why it's not playing though. Come on, Glee, play. Why won't it play? What's going on? Anyways, I'm going to a spin class with a friend, so it's time to get ready for that. Hmm, I think we're gonna go with these ones. Just got out of spin. It was a very, very sweaty class, and then I stayed behind. Oh my god, everyone's right there, and they're gonna see me vlogging. I can't do this. We stayed behind and talked for like half an hour, and I'm gonna go home. Everyone is watching me vlog, all the people that I went to the spin class with. Time for dinner. We're having the same thing I made for lunch.
I missed. Dang it. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I have all my days mixed up because I think it's Tuesday because I th technically took Monday off, but I'm just getting some work done. I worked out, then I just ate my breakfast, and now I think I need a shower because I feel very gross and I want to wash my hair and everything. I want to do one of those cleansing shampoos. I'll show you guys the one that I use. I feel like I have a lot of buildup on my scalp. We're gonna do that today, but I'm just filling out some stuff for my to-do list. I just approved all of the orders for the new to-do list. Ah! I can't believe that was the weirdest sound that I've ever made, but I cannot believe that I'm doing that already It's crazy time is flying by. I'm also responding to some comments right now I like to do a bunch of little computer stuff early in the morning respond to all my emails get everything out of the way And then I can start the bulk of my work. That's just the way that my brain likes to work I've always said this people always ask me how I'm so productive Which I don't think I'm the most productive person in the entire world. Don't get me wrong I don't think I am but I always like to start with little things that get the ball rolling So I feel more motivated to do the big tasks because I feel like bigger tasks like editing an entire video sometimes feels very daunting that takes hours and hours and hours but doing a bunch of little things like responding to some emails or responding to comments filling out my to-do list checking in on my Shopify those things don't take that long and it kind of builds up the momentum of me working and getting in the groove that is always my little tip on how to motivate myself to be productive start with the little tasks that don't seem like a daunting task it will get you in the zone to do the bigger stuff but I am gonna take a break right now because I'm going to shower also I don't know if you guys can see this I'm gonna get my hair dyed next week. Look at how much my hair has grown out. The last time I got it dyed was in December, the very end of December, like almost January. Isn't that crazy? I was considering dyeing my entire head by natural hair color, which this is my natural hair color right here. You can see I made a TikTok about it and everyone was saying to go blonder for summer and then to dye my hair this darker color for winter. So that is what I'm going to do. I probably have already dyed my hair by the time you guys see this video. So that will probably be next week's weekly vlog, but follow me TikTok, Instagram, if you ever want to see the like the, the real time up Updates, that's where to go. Oh, stop. I will link it down below for you guys. I use the Way Detox Shampoo. I really like it. I've had it for like several years now. Well, over a year. And I've only used that much. I don't use it that often, but whenever my hair just feels gross, I use it. Also, my Apple Watch band is getting really gross again. <laughs> This is the outfit that I'm wearing for today. This dress is from Zara. I really like it. The back is really cute. I feel very bloated. Whenever I get home from a vacation, I just feel eh for like a week after, just after eating out so much. Not feeling my best, but that's okay because we accept our body at all sizes and all phases. But I need to get back to work. I have a webinar. This webinar is for AI, for like how creators can use AI to help them. It starts at 11 and it's 10.30 right now. I feel like I got ready a little bit later than I normally... Did it just get brighter in here? Did that light just turn off? Like, what just happened? I swear I saw just like a flash of light or something. I don't know. I got ready a little bit later today than I typically do. Granted, I was doing a lot of work before I got ready. Just looking at my to-do list, seeing all the stuff I have to do today. I will hit record. Recording in progress. I found like pretty fascinating. Um, is to like... I've been editing my LA vlog for the past couple hours. Oh my gosh, a lot more hours than I thought I was. I kind of just got like lost into it. It's a little bit shorter of a vlog, which always makes me feel so guilty because I know you guys like longer vlogs. So whenever a vlog is anything less than 20 minutes, I feel guilty. Even when it's 20 minutes, I'll get comments that are like, why such a short vlog? So this vlog, I'm afraid that it's too short. I already ate all my salmon for the week. I got a, I don't know if the word is flank, a piece of salmon from Trader Joe's and I already ate all of it, but I do have some of the frozen salmon from Trader Joe's. So I'm going to defrost that right now, but I'm almost done with this video. I just want to watch it over. That won't take me very long. It's only 13 minutes, but in the meantime, we're going to defrost my salmon. I just defrosted my salmon or I put it in the water. A little life hack is you could put salmon in a plastic bag in some cold water for a while and then it will thaw out. But I realized that I haven't done anything else with this meal. I want to make my famous. And when I say famous, it's not famous. I don't know why I said famous. Sweet potato kale salad that I'm obsessed with. I used to make it all the time and then I had to stop because I didn't want to be too obsessed with it. So we're back on our salmon and kale kick. We're back on our salmon and kale kick. But I haven't made the sweet potatoes. I haven't made the dressing. I don't typically like to make giant meals for lunch lunch, not as a giant meal, but I don't like to do a lot of cooking during lunch. I just like to heat up and assemble, but I didn't make it last night. So we're going to do it right now. Why am I in a 
breath. This looks delicious. My salmon is still not done thawing out, so good thing this is just gonna sit and cool down for a moment. Ah, I always do this. Always, always, always. I thought I would make the salad dressing right now because when the salmon is in the air fryer, there's a really loud air fryer in the background and no one wants to hear that. Let's do it. I'm realizing now that there's a lot of things that I forgot to buy for this salad. One of the most important ingredients is avocado. I forgot to buy avocado. I do have these little avocado packs and they're gonna expire soon. Good thing, but I forgot to buy avocado. I also forgot to buy feta and I love feta. I think feta is the best part of this entire salad and I forgot to buy it, which is okay. It's fine, but I'm just gonna do two of these avocados. Normally it's a full avocado. I actually have a lemon. Normally I don't have fresh... Mm, this kind of feels a little mushy. I'm gonna use this lemon juice. I feel like that lemon has been in there for a while, so it's probably not good. Oh, this is all of it. Good thing I have a backup. We're gonna do a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of water. I always go for way less water than this recipe calls for. Way less. Normally just like a... And that might even be too much. I'm also gonna do garlic. Maybe like a tablespoon. More is more when it comes to garlic. Then we're gonna do salt, pepper, and cumin. Lots and lots of cumin. I will also link this recipe down below for you guys. And then we blend. Mm, very good. Mm, yummy. Mmm. You can really taste the lemon in it. <laughs> Probably added way too much lemon, but it's very good. I'm just gonna wait for my salmon to defrost and then we'll make that in the air fryer and then we will assemble our salad. You're kidding me. Just made this thumbnail. That's what we got going on. And then I was doing more of the description and the tags of this video. Yay! <laughs> it always does me so dirty on these little auto-generated thumbnails. A little while, ooh, a little while later. And I just finished this thumbnail. This one took me a while. I don't remember what time I finished the last thumbnail, but here we are, 5.30 p.m. Hello, get ready with me. I am going on a date. I'm a little nervous. Well, I'm always nervous. I'm just a ball of anxiety 24 seven. I went on a date with this guy, not last week, because last week I was out of town, but the week before that, and I talked about it in my vlog. So it was my last weekly vlog. <laughs> I think that when I was talking about it, I kind of was just like, nice guy, I didn't really feel a spark. That was kind of how I felt. And I was talking to my friend Katie about it when I was on my trip in Memphis, and she was telling me, she was like, maybe it was just first date jitters. If there was nothing wrong with him, him, give him another shot. I'm gonna delete all of this if this date goes extremely well and I end up really liking him. So if you're seeing this right now, it's a little look into the future, but we are going to a speakeasy. It's in Phoenix. It's like kind of 30 minutes away from where I live, which in my opinion is pretty far, but that's okay. The place is supposed to be really cool. You like enter it through a phone booth from my understanding. I don't know. It sounded cool. I'm also a little nervous that I gave myself salmonella. Yeah, because I ate that salmon today and I didn't use my meat thermometer so part of me was like I don't think it was slightly raw but I also am not feeling well and I don't know if that's just me like psyching myself out maybe it's just like a mental thing but I'm also like what if I like projectile vomit in the middle of this speakeasy that's my current fear I am going on a date <laughs> I don't know I feel like I need to tweeze my eyebrows because do you ever have like pieces of eyebrow oh that hurt Wow, my eyes are watering from that. Have you guys ever tried to like tweeze a boy's eyebrows? Cause they are so dramatic about it. Like, of course the first one always hurts, but they act as if it's someone punching them in the face. I don't really know what to say about what I'm doing about this date. I don't know. I honestly don't really want to go on it, but I'm trying to put myself out there. Here I am putting myself out there. What do you guys think about going on a second date with someone that you just didn't feel a spark with on the first date? If you were in this same situation, there's nothing wrong with them, you just felt eh about them, would you go on a second date or were you like, no, good at leaving where it's at? 
I feel like I only know how to do one makeup look. A lot of people recently have been saying that my makeup looks good, so thank you so much. But it is quite literally the only makeup look that I know how to do. I don't know how to do anything else. I just don't want to go on this date. <laughs> I really want to cancel. I've been debating all day if I should cancel or not. Should I cancel? Should I cancel? Should I cancel? Should I cancel? I feel like it's too late to cancel. The date's in an hour and 20 minutes. I feel like that's too late. I feel like there's the three hour stamp. I need to dampen this beauty blender. I saw this TikTok that was saying that if you want to cancel on a date, you have to do it at least three hours before. Anything later, you have to go on it. I just don't want to do it. I feel like me not wanting to go on this date is sign enough. But also I never want to go on dates, so maybe that's not sign. <laughs> This is what I'm wearing. I don't really feel like it will match the vibe because this is very like pastel, Easter brunch, and we're going to like a bar. But this is, I don't know. Part of me like doesn't want to go because I don't know what to wear, but I'm just like, whatever. I'm going to wear this. Princess Polly Abercrombie. I'll link this chain down below. I found one on Etsy that's like identical. The chain was a gift. It was actually like a chain from a necklace and I took the pendant off. I just need to decide what earrings I want to wear. I think I'm going to do... Just some simple gold hoops from Amazon. These little guys, I'll link them down below. I was gonna wear a pair of white jeans with this, but it just, it didn't look, the jeans weren't that flattering, but I do think that white jeans would look better with this top. I don't really think this is like the cutest outfit I've ever worn, but I also don't care. <laughs> I'll see you guys after my date. <laughs> Happy Thursday, everybody. I can't believe it's Thursday. Today does not feel like a Thursday. It feels like a Tuesday. I know that I didn't vlog on Monday because I was like Memorial Day weekend and I was still kind of getting back from my trip, but even Tuesday and Wednesday didn't feel like they happened. I don't know what's happening. This has been like the fastest week of my entire life. I'll give you the date recap, probably what you actually want to know. I had a good time. We went to a speakeasy. It was actually really cool. I wanted to get like vlog footage of it, but I also didn't want to accidentally vlog him in it because I was like, that would have been awkward. It was in this coffee shop and then there's this phone booth and you enter through the phone booth and it's kind of like a prohibition themed speakeasy. It was really cool. I got this drink that was quite gross if I'm being honest. I am normally someone that will finish my drink. I didn't finish that one. We were there for a while. I felt so bad because I kept even now I'm gonna yawn. I kept yawning. <laughs> Did that make anybody else yawn? Because whenever somebody else yawns, I feel yawns are contagious. Whenever somebody yawns, I yawn too. And then I start tearing up. When I was younger, I used to actually cry when I would yawn. Like tears would just stream out of my eyes. Sorry, no one cares about that. I know you want I know you want the tea about the date. I had a good time at first. I was like, yeah, okay. But then like as the date went on, I was like, okay, yeah. Because I think that when you're first getting to know someone, it's almost like a little awkward. Do you know like when you're talking to someone, there's those awkward pauses where no one really knows what to say, but it got better. I think there might be something wrong with me. I think I might be the problem. I'm the anti-hero. I feel like a lot of women, we talk about this where there's like a list of things that we wish men did. We wish they picked the place and the time, made the reservation. We wish they made more of an effort to do things. We wish that they communicated if they were busy. We wish they like wanted to get to know us and ask questions about ourselves. This man does all these things. Like he's perfect on paper, but I still feel like Eh. And so I'm wondering, is there something wrong with me? Because shouldn't I want all of those things? I guess that there's not like a spark, there's not a spark. I feel like going on the third date is like a big step, you know? The first few dates, you're kind of feeling each other out. Not like feeling, you, you know what I mean? You know what I mean when I just said that. You're kind of getting the vibe for it. But the third date is like, oh, the fourth date to me is like married. And no, I'm just kidding. I feel like after this date, I should have known 100% where I wanted to go with this. If I wanted to go forward, if I didn't. And I still don't feel like I do. And I feel like me talking talking about this right now is probably a sign that I shouldn't. He's such a nice guy and it's like everything that women want. Part of me is like, do I just not like myself enough to feel like I deserve that? But I don't think that's it. I have a facial tonight. It's at 5 p.m. So it's like, it'll be nice and relaxing at night. Very excited for that. I feel like I stayed up way too late last night because I got home. It was like 11.30 and I was so tired. And normally I try to go to bed by 11. So it was, it was a late night and I'm very, very sleepy. But I've been doing a bunch of stuff this morning. I've actually done so much. I didn't realize this, but I've been working for three hours straight and I didn't even realize it. I've been doing a ton of emails. I've been doing some upload details and stuff like that for my video. And then I made a mood board and everything for the new to-do list launch of the photo shoot that I want to have with it. I did some coordination with getting those shipped. I actually did so much today already. I don't know how. I was just like, I'm going to do quick little things before I start the vlog for the day. And then I was like, oh wow, I've been working for a while. I don't really feel like I have too much going on this week. Last week I was out of town, so I didn't film a weekly vlog 
vlog, I filmed like two travel vlogs. And I think that may be why I have so much free time because typically editing weekly vlog takes like several days. And since I didn't have a weekly vlog to edit, I just had two shorter vlogs. It didn't take me as long. But I have all this free time now and I am just trying to figure out what I want to do with this free time. I'm trying to do stuff for work, just little extra things that I probably should be doing to improve my job. I keep thinking there's something wrong with me though because of this date. Also, I had this realization and it makes me feel so bad about myself and it is that people think I'm dumb. Do you guys think I'm dumb? I hope not. I don't mean this as like a flexor. I don't mean this in a cocky way, but growing up, I was always known to people that I was pretty smart. I was a straight A student. I was always someone that people would go to if they needed help on something. I was always someone that did a majority of the work in the group project. I was always known for getting good grades and most of my friends were in an academic setting, whether it was high school, whether it was college. Majority of the people in my life knew that I was smart, that I was academically good. I don't know the right word for this, but now that I've graduated college and I'm not in an academic setting anymore, I realized that people think I'm dumb because I say a lot of dumb things. I've never felt a need to prove myself that I'm smart or flex my intelligence, if that makes any sense. I say dumb things all the time, but I know that I'm a smart person, but because I'm meeting all of these new people and they don't know my background and they don't know what I was like in school, they assume that I'm as dumb as I sound when I say really dumb things. I've been really insecure about that recently. And not that there's anything bad with not being the smartest person in the room, because I still don't even think I was ever the smartest person in the room. I feel like I've been so insecure that people think that I'm not smart because so much of my identity when I was younger was tied into being smart. I also wonder if maybe I've just gotten dumb since graduating college. That could be a very good possibility. But when I meet new people who don't know that I was a straight A student or that I worked really hard to get A's on my exams, it makes me feel really insecure because when I joke around and say like little stupid dumb things, I realize that people think that I'm not smart. But I also don't wanna be trying to prove myself. That's a realization that I had recently that maybe I need to start acting smarter, but I don't want to do that because I think it's like funny to be goofy and silly, you know? I will say I did say something really dumb the other day. I called the Colorado River the Nile River. That wasn't my best move. That I will say. I knew it was the Colorado River, but my mind just blanked and I called it the Nile River. That probably didn't help my case. <laughs> Five second roll. Meeting a cutie, very cute. I don't know why, I just feel like I needed like a dance break plus snack. I really am a toddler. <laughs> I could also use a nap <laughs> while we're at it. I've been doing some computer work. I've also been trying to like update things for my new apartment. I've been trying to get new renter's insurance for my new apartment. I was trying to set up my utilities, but I'm kind of confused because to be able to set up a utilities account, I need a six digit code, but my new apartment told me to send them the six digit code, but then the utilities company didn't give me the six digit code and it's a different utilities company than this apartment uses. It's all very confusing. I don't know. I don't know why I'm in a dance mood, but I am. I think I'm gonna go do some returns. I have honestly been very stressed about money recently. I feel like everything is just getting so much more expensive. Today is the first day of the month, so looking over my budget for last month, I just feel like I've been really stressed about it recently. So I'm gonna do some returns. It was stuff that I was already planning on returning anyways, but I just think, you know, a little credit in my Amazon account will make me feel better. I was talking to one of my friends today about all the things that we want to do. They're just not in our price range right now. And so we were trying to brainstorm free activities, do like going on walks, laying by the pool, doing things that we don't have to pay for. Because even just going out to dinner with your friends or even just getting drinks really adds up. And it's all so expensive, especially when you're at this age in life. It's a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> About to go run some errands. I'm using my St. Jude bag. I got this when I was at the trip last week. It's a little tote bag that they give you. So cute. Let's go do some returns. Just returned my stuff to Amazon. I returned a belt because I initially got it in a medium and then it was a little big, so I got it in a small. So I returned the size that didn't fit me and I returned a jacket that I got. I'm excited to go home because I am so hungry. I cannot wait to eat food. Also, I have these shoes. <laughs> you guys saw them in the montage. They're from Target. I'll link them down below. I've been trying to be better about like linking stuff, the outfits that I'm wearing, the stuff that I mentioned. So I will try my best, not me waving my shoe around. They're so cute, but I've worn them maybe three or four times now and I saw this 
hack on TikTok and it's that you put deodorant on your feet before you wear new shoes. And so I've been doing that and my shoes haven't given me blisters, no problems at all. And so I was like, okay, maybe, I don't know if this trick actually works or not. Maybe these shoes are just really comfortable. Today, I put them on for the very first time without deodorant on my feet and they're hurting my feet. You know the feeling where you're, oh, why are people skateboarding in this parking garage? Weird. I didn't see the skateboard at first, so I was like, are they just like floating? What was going on here? Sorry. This was the first time that I didn't put deodorant on my feet. Weird to put deodorant on your feet. They're starting to hurt me. The feeling, you know when you're starting to get a blister? It, it hasn't blistered yet. It's starting. That's the feeling that I'm feeling when I walk in these shoes. So putting deodorant on your feet really works. It's a film or lubricant. I don't know. It's something that sits in between your foot. It's a barrier. That may be the right word. It's a barrier between your foot and the shoe so it doesn't rub up against your foot too much. But the deodorant dried down perfectly so it wasn't like gross or anything so I didn't think that it worked but apparently it does so I'm going to be wearing deodorant on my feet all the time now especially with new shoes but I'm gonna go home I'm gonna blast some Taylor Swift I've really been loving snow on the beach more Lana Del Rey version snow on the beach was my wait I'm gonna lock my car door do you guys ever get nervous about that <laughs> I do snow on the beach was my least favorite song on midnights but the more Lana version sounds like a completely different song and I really love it I've already listened to it four times today but what's a fifth sixth and seventh you know we're gonna go home and we're gonna make some food Woo! Okay my arm definition slay I've been going to the gym yum feta would make this better I do have to admit but it is still very good I'm excited to eat it update I've been doing some work but now I'm gonna go get a facial I get monthly facials here's an update on my skin in case anyone cares slay okay facial time Post facial over zoomed in. My skin always looks crazy afterwards because I have very sensitive skin, so any treatment or extraction just makes my face look bright red. But tomorrow it will look beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then I also got this. This is the Skin Better Maestro Active Balance Serum. She raved about this. I'm excited to try it. I'm gonna look at it. Oh, it's pretty, very pretty. I like the pumps like this. Little haul, got that for my skin. And then we're gonna go home. It is six o'clock. Love that. Here's an up close of my skin if you've been following my skin journey. The lighting is not great for you to see it. Happy Friday, everybody. Good morning. Today does not feel like Friday. This feels like it's been the fastest week of my entire life. And I know I keep saying I didn't vlog Monday, so maybe that's why, but it feels like it should be Tuesday. I have no idea what's going on. Just been responding to some comments, doing some work stuff. Also worked out today was my last day that my trainer is here. I've talked about this in the past. I do group fitness classes that's ran by an individual trainer, not by a company like Orange Theory. And so the trainer that did the group classes, she's moving and today was her last day. So it was very sad we all took like a little going away photo and then tomorrow will be saturday so i won't be vlogging but we're doing like a little goodbye brunch for her which i've never seen any of the people that i work out with hair makeup normal outfits done they've never seen me they've only ever seen me look like this this is how they see me on a daily basis dripping in sweat so i'm kind of excited for everyone to like see what i actually look like because i can look cute because i don't think i look that cute right now well low key i'm always cute no i'm just kidding well am i i'm trying to be better at not being mean to myself working on it but i've just been responding to some comments and doing some work stuff as i do every morning i love to start off the morning by checking my email and responding to everything getting that out of the way i feel like that's one thing that I can just check off my to-do list and it just makes me feel really great. Do you remember how earlier in the vlog I was saying that I finally don't feel burnt out anymore? I take that back. I do feel burnt out again. I don't know what's been going on with me. I felt really motivated and encouraged at the beginning of the week and now I'm feeling back to kind of bleh and drag. <sighs> kind of sad. We're working on it. I do feel very happy that I had that like burst of motivation earlier in the week. I'll take what I can get. I think that we're all on a lifelong journey of not being burnt out. <laughs> Hello, update. I just showered, I did a little body shower, my hair is still slicked back, but I'm doing this little series on TikTok. I just started it, so it's not like a series series yet. It's a one, wait, I need to close my drawers. I'm wanting it to be a series. It's not a series yet. A series where I try to find my personal style. Because I feel like a lot of the times I just wear very comfortable clothes. I wear workout clothes. I wear sweats. And I never feel like I know how to style the clothes in my closet in different ways. I think that I only know how to style things with a pair of jeans and that's it. I really want to try to be better at that. So I decided that I want to make a little series on my TikTok because it's more in the moment. And I can get your guys' feedback quicker on there. But <laughs> I wanted to do a cute outfit. But I want it to be comfortable on the bottom. So I'm filming it 
here because this isn't a real outfit because cute on top comfortable on the bottom because i'm going to be working all day but if i were to make this like a whole outfit like wear jeans or trousers or something i'd probably post that on tiktok we're gonna do it here because this is like not a real outfit in my opinion this top is from abercrombie you can't really see because my tv's in the way but it has like these poofy sleeves these shorts are from abercrombie i'll try to link both these down below i don't know if they still sell this but they definitely sell these so i'll link them down below one thing that i feel like i really struggle with is jewelry i always feel like every time i wear jewelry it feels like it's too much i feel like i'm trying too hard but someone commented on my tiktok that it's probably just because i don't wear jewelry that often that it feels that way the more i wear it the more comfortable i'll be with it i'm gonna get a few jewelry options and we'll we'll figure out what i want to wear I brought over some options. I'm a big earring girl. Earrings are my favorite. I don't have a ton of them, but I have a couple fun earrings. I thought that it would be nice to wear fun earrings because I'm having my hair up, so I think the earrings could be a moment. Oh, wait, more earrings. Pause. Did I lose them? My favorite earrings. I can't find them. I'm hoping that maybe they're just in my purse. Because I... Oh, yeah, they are. They are. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but I feel out of breath, so I'm going to sit down and do this. Let me know if you guys like this kind of stuff, if you want to see more of it. I'm trying to post more of it on TikTok. I have these earrings. So these are kind of like the Bottega dupes but they're a little bit dupe but they're a little bit smaller than the big ones I didn't want the super big ones because I didn't feel like they would match my everyday style I'll link these down below I think these are the only ones that are still available out of all these if not I'll try to find similar links to these other earrings but these ones I got from Amazon so they're just like this thick gold chunk the Bottega ones are a little bit longer which part of me wants to get those but i'm trying to have myself in a spending freeze for a while i was talking about this yesterday i feel like i've been stressed with money recently i'm gonna do a little pause on purchasing all non-essential items i also have these i love wearing these earrings my mom's friend got them for me when she was in greece so this is like a little greek coin i think it's really cute she got these for me when i was in elementary school and i remember in elementary school i was like these are so ugly but i didn't want to be rude obviously but now that i'm older i'm like these are so so cute. I kind of think these are the ones that I want to wear. They're really cute. I feel like they're they're a moment. They're bold, but I really like them a lot. So between these two, I kind of like these ones, but I feel like I never wear these ones when I want to. We have other options too. Don't worry. So far, the gold coin is winning. I also, we're, we're doing almost a tier, like a, a bracket. We're doing a bracket. <laughs> I also have these. These are from Loft. I think they're really cute. Oh, these might be the winner. They're little stars. I wore them to the Eras tour because they reminded me of Midnight's. Which one do we like better? It's hard to see. I think I like these ones better, but I want to wear these ones. The gold coin is winning again. Not necessarily because they look the cutest, but because I just want to wear them. I also have these ones, and I think they may be too simple. These ones are my reputation earrings. They're from Princess Polly. They're little teeny tiny snakes. They're really cute. I have my doubles pierced, which is the second piercing, but I think one of the holes has closed, and I want to get them re-pierced because I think these would be a really cute like double piercing like up here see i think they're too minimal for this look you can't really see them i think we're gonna go with the gold coins if i can find something similar i will link it down below for you guys i'm sure etsy has something similar okay what do we think <laughs> the main thing that i struggle with in jewelry is necklaces i always feel like they don't look like they fit right with me so i have this one this one's from amazon i like this one because it's kind of bolder and i can also make it a little bit shorter if i wanted to i think that's cute i also have this thick chain necklace this is from h&m I just really want to try harder with wearing jewelry and accessorizing. What do we think about this? See, part of me is like, this is just too much. I think it might be too much. And then I also have this thinner chain. What do we think about that? Hmm. What if I layer two of them? If I layer... Why? <laughs> I'm like whipping this around. We have this here. Are they two similar lengths? But this one doesn't... I forgot how much I hated this chain necklace. I think we're going to go with this one because this necklace just sucks. What do we think? Do we like it? Do we not like it? I wish I had bracelets and rings because I feel like that would really complete it because it's very top heavy right now. But I don't have bracelets and rings and I don't want to buy anymore because I'm on a spending freeze. Spending money? Eh. One thing, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I lose my phone every single day for a significant period of time. You never know where I put this thing. I just set it down in the most random spot and I can never find it. I was a phone. Where would I be? The other day, I said it. Oh, the other day, I said it here on top of my jeans. Why was it there? I have no idea. Hmm, not in my bathroom. Oh, you know what I should do? Apple Watch, ding it. Ding it with my Apple Watch. If I had a theme song, it would be this sound. Where is it? Do you know when you can hear it, but you're like, where? Oh, it was under, why was it, why was it there? Really, why was it there? Oh, I got an email. 
I have a Poshmark order. I'll link my Poshmark down below for you guys if you're interested. But I'm gonna go bring that to the post office. And then I have another Amazon return. I bought this like handheld whisk and it requires AA batteries and all I have is AAA. Last night, I went through every single thing that I have, every remote, every technology device. They're all AAA because I was just gonna steal a battery and I don't feel like buying new batteries. So I'm just gonna return the handheld whisk. I wish I returned it yesterday and thought this through. But because I'm gonna go in public, not that there's anything wrong with me wearing those comfy shorts in public because I do that every single day but I just want to look nicer so I have these dark wash shorts from Abercrombie I never wear them I'll link them down below I'll link all this stuff down below for you guys I thought I could add this belt to it to make it look I don't know maybe a little more elevated I also think that it's nice that this belt has some gold in it so it will bring in some gold to the lower part of my outfit because there's a lot of gold up here I don't know I'm really just trying to experiment with my style and figure out what I like and what I don't like what do I think you know I don't normally wear belts with shorts I only ever wear them with jeans so I don't know if they look weird or not what do we think and then I have these shoes shoes they're from target i'll also link them down below they might be sold out at target so i'll link down the steve madden version of these but they have some gold in them as well so i think like this could be a cute little look i'm gonna put deodorant on my feet before i wear these because target shoes give me the worst blisters ever and the deodorant trick really does help so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna wear this also in order to find the stuff from poshmark i had to go through this bin of clothes i want to list some of it on poshmark and then go through the rest of it and donate it so i need to do that okay i think i like this outfit i don't know if it's my favorite outfit outfit I've ever worn but we're figuring out what we like and what we don't like I think this is all right I think I need to make my belt tighter though <laughs> I'm very backlit right now I'm aware but I used to never really care about fashion or style and I think that I just want to start figuring out what I like and what I don't like so this is a fun little journey that we're gonna go on together I rarely ever wear these dark wash shorts because I never know what to wear with them I own a lot of light wash shorts and I feel like I know what goes well with light wash stuff so if you guys have any suggestions because I feel like the only thing in my head goes with dark wash shorts is black or white but mostly black so if you guys have any ideas of what I can wear with these shorts because I really like them I just don't ever know what to wear with them don't mind me just putting deodorant on my feet no free foot content okay let's run some errands Just went to the post office and to the returns. Let me know if you guys like the clips like that. I'm trying to find different ways to do the same things. My life is pretty, it's pretty similar. Not similar, what's the word? I do a lot of the same thing. If I can make a clip a little different, a little fun, I want to. So let me know if you guys like that. If you don't, no big deal. I'm driving home right now. I'm in the turn lane. Love that, listening to Taylor Swift, as I do, as I always do.